Lord have mercy. Y'all done done it. You done done it. You done done it. You done done it now, right? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. The crazy house with me, your host, Khadija. Well, white people, y'all know y'all done done it now. Because now y'all got a wild Mustang up in the White House who doesn't care about spreading diseases. Um, like I liken it to a partner or a person that you know who's hot, who's burning up the town, and they still sleeping with everybody. And they could care less, and they moving from state to state, um, passing. And you put people in jail for that, okay? If they going and spreading the AIDS virus, and, but it's okay for our president who can keep information from us, whether he's contagious or whatever, to go around and now to plan rallies. But I'm so ecstatic about the whole thing because um, I just want you to know, for those of y'all who think that this is the greatest thing um, for him to come out and show you how tough he is and you're going to attend the rallies, um, you have no sympathy for me. Should you come down with COVID? In fact, it just be fitting that all of y'all come down with uh, COVID because the world would be better off without people like you. And yes, I said it. So now with that being said, um, I would hope that common sense prevails and the children. This is all I care about. See, please, somebody save the babies. Save all of the children. Don't let them have to be indoctrinated um, and exposed to COVID because their parents are cult members. Try to save the babies if you can. Okay? You know, and I noticed that. And that's because I noticed that whenever you leave the States, it's like there's a certain amount of freedom in terms of race. And especially if you go to a melanated populated area, you want to see that there's a certain amount of relaxation that you can have. You know, now it's just a COVID, but I can't explain it. It's almost like before you even get back to the United States, you can almost sense it with the race. And the black and white and the white people all crazy. And it is, it's almost like the world and then the United States, an aberration, a place that is filled with um, hatred of people and they're obsessed with uh, color. So I only contend that that is just the um, projection of the people who founded this country, knowing all the dirt that they did. Um, uh, um, they can't let it go, okay? And so when people are acting like so shocked about Donald Trump's behavior, I want to remind you of a time which is not in a so distant past that most of your politicians, Republicans and Democrats and all those guys were racist. They were staunch racist. They were uh, people that, you uh, Klansmen and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's just going back to that. And that's because you can't figure out nothing new to do. Although society is changing, you can see the browning of America. You can see the universe is fixing it so that you can't populate like the brown of society. It would seem to me that if you were intelligent being, like you say, everybody else is dumb, but if you were smart, you would think, wow, I got to figure out a way to live with these people um, and not make it to a point where the, 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 um, the fire is so turned up that even before you arrive in this country, you can smell the hatred and the madness, you would think that you have an opportunity to fix that. And you would have even tried. 
but it's like you can't help it. It's going right back to where it was founded on and, and how it started. And that's sad because America was great. And she 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 was a great nation. But she was also ugly and awful nation. And now the awfulness and the ugliness is just all up in the surface and then bust out like a bad pimple. You see all the oozing and ooh, ooh, what the that's what it is over here. So I'm not gonna stay on here, you know, long. I just wanted to say that because it's real important that we realize that we are really living in a turbulent time and you have to go find a way to make peace. That's why I spend a lot more time now on my um, trying to get footage for my other channel, um, which I've told y'all before. I wish some of y'all could go over there and help me build that channel up. Those of y'all who are animal lovers or um, Zeus and Peppa. Uh, on YouTube, and I'm just, sometimes I can't take all of this, you know, because it's a bit much, and I know a lot of y'all and can't, but a lot of us have lived through it as well, not just on this scale. I've never, I haven't lived through no plagues or nothing like this, so this is 2.0. I lived through the shooting of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and Bobby Kennedy and Robert Kennedy. Anwar Sadat, I've witnessed all those murders and all of them tore my, traumatized my little heart. But what I found out, the more I, there's a lot of people like me. So we are a traumatized nation, a nation that is extremely hateful and traumatizing to the black and brown people um, that live here. So. You you know, when you begin to see the very cracks, well, I shouldn't even say cracks no more. They just big old holes in the foundation trying to lift up and hold up what we deemed as so sacred America. You really see now that it was all smoke and mirrors. And that to me is what's hurtful. The fact that it's all smoke and mirrors. So... With that being said, I'm not going to be on here long. Again, like what you hear, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.